Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Virginia Association for Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. I'd like to thank you all for joining us this evening. Just a few housekeeping items before we do get started. There is a Q&A button located at the bottom of your screen, which you can use to ask questions to our presenters at any time. And if you do have a question for a specific college, just make sure you mention that college within your question. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is one of many sessions happening over the next three hours. So definitely go out there and sign up for additional ones as well. And this presentation is being recorded. So within about a week, you'll find this session's recording at the same site where you registered. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to our first college for this session, which is Goldsmiths University of London. All right, hello everyone. I'm just gonna share my screen here and um, all right, my name is Will Abraham. I'm the International Officer at Goldsmiths University of London. I'm personally based in Brooklyn, New York, but as you might be able to tell, the university is located in London, England. We were founded in 1891 and have been a member of University of London since 1904. We are a top-tier public research institution with around 10,000 students on our campus. It's a very diverse school. More than half of our students are students of color. They come from um, all of our students, I should say, come from all of our uh, over 141 countries. About 17% are part of the LGBTQ plus community. We have a sizable first generation population on campus and Americans are our second largest cohort of international students. We also have implemented a Green New Deal this year and we are committing to carbon neutrality by 2025. To that end, we have banned beef on our campus, single-use plastics, installed solar panels all over our buildings, uh, divested our endowment from fossil fuels, and much more towards that initiative. So we are located about 10 minutes southeast of the city center. We have a train station right next to our campus that can get you right into the city center um, very quickly. Great access to internships and work placements. Our residence halls are located both on and just off campus, so it's never a long walk to get to your courses. On campus, we have a public movie theater, we have a public museum, a college green where you can enjoy lunch on some of your uh, sunnier days in London. There's tons to do around New Cross. Uh, we have tons of music venues, coffee shops, restaurants, uh, really um, any kind of cuisine you can imagine is within walking distance of campus. London is a magnet for um, people from all over the world. And we are focusing on the fine and performing arts, humanities, social sciences, business and management, law, social work and therapeutic studies and education studies at Goldsmiths. We're among the top 100 universities in the world for the fine and performing arts and humanities. And eight of our 18 departments are among the world's top 50. We're very well known for our communications and media program, which includes our screen school and school of journalism and also our art and design programs. And we also take undergraduate research quite seriously. You'll be able to participate in research from year one. We have over 55 research centers on campus and we're ranked number 21 in the UK for the quality and international significance of our research and citations. We have about 75 undergraduate programs on campus. They're divided into our three faculties, arts and humanities, culture and society, and professional studies, science and technology. This is a non-exhaustive list of programs that we offer. We have three-year bachelor's degrees in England, which I'm sure you'll hear about uh, later on as well. Um, and they're all direct entry, so you apply directly to a particular degree program. We have a test optional policy for this year and next year. We do require a 3.0 unweighted GPA to apply. Um, the UCAS deadline each year is 15th of January. Uh, when I say UCAS, that's the University and College Application Service, and this is how you apply to all universities in the UK. It's an aggregate application similar to the Common App. Costs at Goldsmiths range from about 20 to 26,000 US dollars for tuition. Um, it depends on the program you're applying to. We do offer international scholarships, and we also accept federal loans and PLUS loans, as well as GI Bill funding. We do uh, also offer, uh, in the UK, the ability to work for 20 hours per week during your academic term or 40 hours per week during holidays and school breaks. 
and that can significantly cut costs down as well. And the total cost of attendance each year is under 40,000 US dollars, um, as low as 35,000 US dollars as well. So um, it's typically around the same price as out of state public or private institutions uh, or much less. We offer accommodation, as I said before, both on and just off campus in our residence halls. We do guarantee accommodation for you in the first year. Our housing is suite style and it houses between four and eight students. Uh, we also allow uh, students to have shared kitchens and living spaces in each suite. And then you'll have your own room and your own bathroom as well. So a little bit different from what you might be used to in American dorms. You'll also have support from our career service for up to three years after graduation and then during your whole time at Goldsmiths. A lot of our programs have built in work placements and internships. And we also have a business incubator opening on campus this spring. We have a really high entrepreneurial rate. Nearly 15% of our students start their own business within one year of graduation. We also have a really extensive alumni network all over the world. And if you do wish to come back to the US, uh, there's about 3,000 alumni here in the States. You can stay in the UK for up to two years after you graduate by converting your student visa to a post-study work visa as well. So if you have dreams of working in the UK, that can definitely be a reality. Lastly, we offer tons of clubs and societies to join and many different sports options, uh, about 20 options for you. Uh, and we also compete competitively in the London sports leagues. So thank you so much. And um, my contact information is listed here and I'll pop it in the chat as well. Wonderful, thank you so much for your presentation. Up next, we have SOAS. Hi there, I'm just gonna share my screen quickly with you, maybe a moment. So I'm gonna take you on a quick whistle stop tour of SOAS University of London. So first things first, with SOAS, we are the leading university in the world for the studies of Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. We're a specialized institution that focuses on the social sciences and the humanities. And we look at tackling global issues of today from the perspective of the most disadvantaged and underrepresented. In terms of why you might choose to study at SOAS University of London, we are located in the heart of London. We're a global top 50 university for the arts and humanities. We have world-class facilities, leading academics who are also practitioners in the field, small class sizes, a flexible and interdisciplinary approach, which I'll go into in more detail later, and a very diverse international and engaged student population. In terms of our location, we are located in the heart of city. You can't get any more central if you tried. We're in Bloomsbury. You can walk 10 minutes to Leicester Square with all the entertainment. You can walk 10 minutes to Oxford Circus with all the shops. And we're surrounded by different museums and galleries um, and also different universities that I'll also talk about later as well. In terms of our ranking, we're ranked sixth in the UK for um, development studies. We're ranked, uh, sorry, in the world for development studies. We're ranked 13th in the world for anthropology. 18th in the world for politics, 19th in the UK for law, and first in London for business and management. We're also ranked fifth in the UK for um, student staff ratio, which means we actually have a lot of staff um, available to you at all times. And we're ranked third in the world for peace, justice, and strong institutions, which we're really proud of. In terms of our facilities, we have four main buildings, um, lots of different facilities for students, um, large study areas, uh, careers hub, um, and the thing we're most proud of is our library, which is a national research library, one of only five in the UK, um, and one of the largest libraries in Europe for both East Asia and Middle East um, collections. In terms of our student accommodation, we have these dotted around the university and they range from about £130 a week upward, which for London is very, very affordable. As I say, they're all dotted around the university, so you can walk about five or ten minutes at most to get to them. 
Um, in terms of our subject area, as I said before, we are a specialist institution looking at the social science and humanities, but what we allow you to do is combine absolutely any of our programmes together. So whereas at other institutions in the UK, they might only allow certain combinations, you can really pick from all of these different areas. And we also allow you to take a number of classes throughout your time with us in other disciplines as well. So even if you pick two majors like media studies and um, politics, you'll still be able to take a class or two from South Asia studies, from economics, from gender studies. Um, and we allow you to audit up to three additional classes per year if you want to, but do think about your workload as well. In terms of our undergraduate programs, because of that combination, we have over 300 different degrees that you could take with us. We also offer a number of foundation programs, online programs, and what we call MOOCs, which are massive open online courses. In terms of languages, this is again something we're very proud of. We offer over 35 different languages. Um, these are just some of them that I'm showing to you, but they are very different to what the norm in terms of what you'll get from universities. And these could be taken as a beginner, intermediate or advanced. In terms of our entry requirements, we do look at all of the different US qualifications. So you can apply with your high school GPA, you can apply with your SATs, ACTs, um, APs, dual enrollment credits. For this year, we are test optional, so we will be looking at students' GPAs, um, any honours classes they may have done um, to look at how we can accept you into our programmes. In terms of the cost of living, you're looking um, at about £19,560 per year for your tuition fee, which is um, about $25,000, and about £13,000 to £14,000 per year for your living costs, so about £16,000 to $18,000 so that obviously depends on how you live your life. So you're looking at the cost of attendance per year of being about 41 to 43,000. In terms of scholarships, we do have a wide range of scholarships that you can apply to as well. Now going to our um, student body, we are very diverse. There's students from 135 different countries. We have 6,300 students on campus, 4,000 distance learners. We're very proud that our international and um, European students make up 54% of our student body. And our student body is about 50-50 in terms of our undergraduates and postgraduates. Our students are very active. We're known as a university of activists. So we have over 200 different societies that you join, but our students are really looking to take part in every aspect of life and to look at, at what happens after their university time as well. Um, so as I say, we have 200 different societies that you can join. We have a common room shops, and bar for students, live music, film screenings, cultural events, campaigning and fundraising. And then lastly, just to quickly touch on London life, because you will be in London, which is one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world. Uh, there are over 300 different languages spoken in London, many of which will be spoken on our campus. We have 17,000 music performances across 300 different venues. We have the largest student population in the UK of 350,000 students. Um, so there's going to be lots of people for you to meet and lots for you to do. Um, just to go over a few of our alumni, they um, are across all different areas. Most of our alumni do work in fields like um, politics and international relations. They're working for people like the UN. So we do have others who go and found their own centres. We also have those in the arts, those in media, those in music and those in sports. Um, and in terms of our career support, we offer you a lot of support whilst you're with us in terms of looking at what your career path might be, um, practice interviews and also offer a number of um, there's on campus as well. So then I'll just say, if you want any other questions, please do look on our social media and you will be able to find all that information. Thank you. Thank you for that presentation. As a reminder to our attendees, if you do have questions for any of the institutions you are seeing today, definitely don't hesitate to put those into the Q&A down below. Up next, we have Coastal Carolina University. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cameron Gonzalez. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions Recruitment here at Coastal Carolina. A uh, quick background about Coastal. We were founded in 1954 and we became a public university in 1993. Since then, we are a very young institution, but we are fast for sure. Um, our colors are teal, black, and bronze, teal representing the ocean, bronze representing the sand, because Myrtle Beach is only nine miles away from our main campus. Here at Coastal, we have just over 10,000 students on campus with five academic colleges and over 90 different programs to study to choose from. Some popular majors that students come to Coastal for, 
is management, communication, intelligence, and national security. Marine science is a big one, being that we are so close to the ocean. Um, we have just over uh, uh, 102 undergraduates, de undergraduate degrees, 23 masters, and two doctorate programs here on Coastal's campus. Um, we have a 16 to one student faculty ratio, which is great because we have no lecture halls whatsoever. It's all going to be classroom based. Uh, the most you'll see in a classroom is maybe 20, 25 students. And as you focus on your major, those class sizes will get a lot smaller. And 79% of our faculty members do possess a doctoral or a terminal degree, which is the highest level education one can attain. So you can feel good knowing that the people who are teaching you this stuff have the accreditation and the education to back up what they're teaching. Not to mention all of our faculty members are required to have an open door policy. So if you're ever struggling in a class or need assistance on a homework assignment, you can go to them during their office hours where you need to. We have just over 160 clubs and organizations as well, everything from Greek life, faith-based, SGA, club sports, you name it, more than likely we have it. We have clubs and organizations that focus on honor societies, career developments, even recreational. Uh, so for example, one of our popular clubs here is the Hammock Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. You hang a hammock on campus, swing back and forth, take a nap, do your homework. We also have clubs such as the Sea Turtle Club. We even have a radio station, We and we have a club sport of Quidditch. You're not actually fly you are on the ground muggle style but it is a club sport that goes and competes against other colleges and universities continuing with the competition side we have 19 division one sports teams here all competing in the Sun Belt conference with the exception of men's soccer men's soccer competes now in the usa conference which is one of top three conferences for men's soccer we're very proud of their accomplishments they have been back-to-back -back title holders for the past six years women's volleyball the past seven if you didn't watch our football season this year we went undefeated uh during our season up until until the very first ever bowl game that Coastal got to participate in because we are FBS eligible. Our football stadium can hold just over 20,000 people. So we're hoping to fill those stands again this year. Um, and of course, everyone remembers us for the fact that we won the College World Series in 2016 too. We were the underdogs, we came out on top. No one knew who we were, but it's just going to show that Coastal is becoming a school to be reckoned with and we are being put on the map for sure. And to show you where our students are coming from, 49% uh, of our students are in-state, 49% are out-of-state, 2% are international, with Virginia being our third most popular state that we get students from. We receive just over 15,000 applications each year, with about 13,000 of them being for the freshman class. And yes, freshmen, you can bring vehicles to campus. Your parking pass is only $75 for the entire year. Otherwise, carpooling is going to be your best friend. Um, going to and from home during the holiday breaks or our shuttle systems can take you to and from the local Amtrak, Greyhound and Myrtle Beach International Airport. Some freshman requirements to keep in mind. Uh, this is just our middle 50% range. This is not our minimum, uh, but our GPA is a 3.2 to a 4.0. ACT is 19 to 24 and SAT is 10, 22 and 11, 50. Now, if you have a 3.5 GPA or higher, you can apply test optional. We are looking at your GPA. We're looking at the rigor of your college work or your classwork. So we are looking at all of that as a whole if you are applying test optional. There are three majors, however, that will require you to still take the SAT or ACT, regardless of your GPA, and that is Marine Science, Intelligence and National Security, and the 2 plus 2 nursing program. That is because those are departmental requirements. They are not admission requirements. So in order to be a full major, you must submit both your transcript with your GPA on it, as well as your SAT or ACT test scores. Now, we do understand students are coming from all across the nation, Virginia in particular, uh, they get standard diplomas or advanced diplomas. So if you have advanced diploma, you are more than likely meeting all of the requirements you see on the screen. Otherwise, we, if you are getting a standard diploma, that's okay too. We're going to base our decision off of the diploma you are receiving. So if you're receiving a standard diploma that only requires three years of a math, just let me know. That way I can make a note in your file so when it comes time to reviewing your application later on, it doesn't affect you and it won't disqualify your application either. We are not early action. We are not early decision. We are rolling admission. So once we have a completed file for you, we can get you a decision in less than three weeks. So the turnaround time is very quick. The only deadline I want you to keep in mind is December 1st. That is so you can be priority consideration for merit awards. And I'll go into what merit awards are in the next minute. Um, but there's two ways to apply. You can apply through the main institutional application or you can apply through the Common App. We don't have a preference. It's just whatever you're most comfortable with. 
And in regards to tuition up there, I put both in-state as well as out-of-state because through the state of Virginia, we are part of a program called Academic Common Market, which is a reciprocity where it allows you to come to Coastal and pay our in-state tuition rates if you major in one of three majors. So for Virginia, you must major in marine science, intelligence and national security, or middle-level education. If those are your top three majors and you would like to be a part of that, you have the opportunity to pay our in-state tuition rates all four years during your time. The housing and the meal plan options that you see are the most expensive options, so there are more budget-friendly options to choose from. And Merit Awards is awarded money that we give you based off of how you did in school, ranging everything from a holistic approach, GPA, class rank, level of rigor, letters of recommendation, essays, etc. And those are going to range from 15% all the way to 60% tuition coverage. As long as you're maintaining the requirements, this is renewable every year. But that is it. That is my contact information below. I will also put it in the chat. We are doing tours Monday through Friday at 9.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're able to come and tour campus. But thank you so much for letting me speak with you, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for that great presentation. Up next, we have University College Dublin. Awesome. And thank you, Cameron. I love the sound of that sea turtle group. I wish I could be a part of that. Um, Hi everyone, my name is Kendall Hook and I am with the University College Dublin. I am um, based in New York City, but I work with all of our students in the Mid-Atlantic and Southeast regions. Um, so we are going to hop, hop back across the pond um, and talk a little bit about Dublin, throwing something different into the mix. Um, so I don't know if you've been to Dublin yourself or you've had friends or family who've been to Ireland. Um, or you've seen any movie or media as it relates to the Republic of Ireland, but every good thing that you've probably heard is very true. Um, Ireland is an incredibly safe, friendly, and welcoming country. It's often ranked in the top 10 to 12 safest countries in the world, according to the Global Peace Index. And also Dublin is ranked as one of the friendliest um, cities in the world as well. Um, it is a very small country. You can get from coast to coast in a matter of four hours or so, um, but for being such a small country, it is pretty mighty. Um, you have people from all over the world coming to Ireland for either school or for work. So Dublin itself, um, an incredible city, and it is an EU um, headquarter capital. So you have companies like Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Airbnb. They all have their headquarters in Dublin, which makes for an awesome opportunity for networking, like for jobs or internships while you're in school or um, back here in the U.S. after graduation or in Ireland if you'd like to stay in Ireland and work. Um, Dublin itself is often ranked in the top 10 best student cities in the world. Um, there is plenty to do. It's incredibly youthful, vibrant, great art scene, nightlife, etc. But it's a very manageable size. It's very walkable. It has great public transportation. Um, so it's a really great city for students to spend their four years in school. So a little more about UCD. Um, University College Dublin, we were founded in 1854. So we're one of Ireland's oldest universities. But for being such an old university, um, we do have a pretty modern campus. So we are located just about three miles south of Dublin City Center in what's known as Dublin's Embassy District. Um, it's a quieter, more residential area, um, but only a matter of 20 minutes um, on the bus from campus to the hustle and bustle of um, downtown Dublin. Um, so you can kind of see in um, my photo, in my background and on the screen, um, our modern campus, we moved here in the, the 1960s. So all the buildings are um, modern um, from the 60s on. Um, UCD is ranked Ireland's number one university, which we're super proud of. And um, we have many programs to choose from that are world ranked. Um, and easily transferable from Ireland back to the US for either graduate school or um, employment after graduation. So as I mentioned, we have um, a very modern campus. It is very familiar feeling as well. So similar to US campuses, we have all the amenities that you're typically used to. So different academic libraries, um, career support services, tutoring centers, services, um, the Student Life Center, a gym, um, it's all consolidated together. Um, so it's not spread out. You don't have to commute very far from housing to campus. 
Um, we also have a very vibrant um, student life as well. So we have over 130 clubs and organizations, um, and that is really the best way to plug in and find your friends on campus. And um, we do have housing on campus. We guarantee housing on campus for all first year international students. So you have your own private bedroom and bathroom usually, and it's suite style. So you share um, like common facilities like kitchen and little living area with typically about four other students who can come from all over the world. As I mentioned earlier, um, we have about um, 70, 75 undergrad programs um, that range um, all across the board, architecture, zoology, and everything in between. Um, we do have some three-year courses available, but I would say the vast majority are on campus for the four years. Um, this is um, a list of our colleges on campus, and I would say a primary difference um, with UCD and European um, education in general is that we don't have general education requirements. So if you want to um, be an English literature major, you would apply directly to the English literature program and you never have to take math again. You can dive straight in to what you wanna study. If you're unsure, don't worry, UCD has a unique program called the Liberal Arts and Sciences program um, that gives students the flexibility to try out different classes um, their first and or second year before ultimately deciding which program they want to graduate in. Um, there are a couple ways to apply. You can apply directly on UCD's website, but you can also apply to UCD through the Common App. That's the most popular for our US students and the way we get the majority of our applications. Um, of, Primary difference um, as well that I wanna highlight is we do focus on academics only. So we do wanna see SAT, AP scores, et cetera. Um, we do have some programs that were flexible with the SAT, ACT requirement, but if you have those test scores, we still encourage you to submit them because they can only help. You can apply to up to four programs at UCD and we technically have rolling admissions, um, but if you're interested in scholarships, I recommend applying by de December 1st because you have to be an offer holder to apply for our scholarships. So we have um, international scholarships available um, that range anywhere between 10 to 100% of tuition and about 80% of our international students receive some sort of monetary award. Um, all in UCD costs about 40,000 per year, um, that's including all your living expenses, tuition, et cetera. Um, so less expensive than um, going out of state to school or to a private school here in the US. Um, but good to know we have scholarships and we do accept US federal aid as well. If you're interested in staying in touch, I'm happy to pop my email in the chat and um, thank you guys for being here tonight. Thank you for your presentation. As a final reminder to our participants, if you do have questions, definitely don't hesitate to put those into the Q&A down below. Up next, we have San Diego State University. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Adriana Ramirez. I am the admissions counselor for San Diego State University. So we are located in San Diego, California. We are a California State University school. We are part of the CSU system. Um, we are a big school. We have over 34,000 students total. Um, a little over 29,000 of those students are undergrad. We are number 30 in Forbes America's Best Value Colleges, top 35 nationwide for our ethnic diversity on campus, and number one in California, and number fifth in the nation for the number of students we send studying abroad. Now, we have over 200 academic degree choices to choose from. Uh, specifically for undergraduate majors, we have over 90. Uh, we are an impacted university. So what that means is year over year, we do receive more applications and seats available. Some of our more popular majors that we are known for in competitive majors, business, engineering, psychology, criminal justice, uh, biology, chemistry, marine biology, um, nursing is our number one most competitive major and in international business. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are located in San Diego, California. Uh, San Diego is the second largest city in California. So our campus is considered to be an urban located in an or an urban campus. Um, we are centrally located within San Diego. So I like to say that you can take a hike 15, 10 to 15 minutes away from campus to on Cal's Mountain and then head back to campus. You can head 10, 15 minutes west and you can be studying for your class at the beach. Head back to campus, hop on the trolley. We have a trolley stop on campus. That is our public transportation. And you can be at a Padre game um, by seven o'clock at night. 
So it does make it very convenient for students to go on and off campus too. And again, we're very centrally located. So that does give students a lot of opportunity um, socially and of course for internships and job opportunities as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, with our study abroad program, we are number one in California and number fifth in the nation for the number of students we send studying abroad. We have over 300 different study abroad programs. We go to about 70 different countries, so lots of options. We are an undergraduate research institution, so that does create a lot of hands-on learning opportunities, as well as um, in-house internship opportunities through the university. We have our, a fantastic career services department. This is one of the best resources you can utilize while you're, um, in, while you're in Aztec. They do everything from internship fairs to job fairs, resume building. Um, they also do help you with choosing the right career field with our Aztec mentoring program. Now, as I mentioned again in the beginning, we are a California State University school, a part of the CSU system. So you will not find us on the Common App. Um, you will find us on calstate.edu backslash apply. Our application um, is open between October 1st and December 4th. And for my seniors that will be applying to the fall 2022 term, we will continue and we will be test blind for that term. So what that means is we will not require or consider the SAT or ACT as a part of the admission criteria. Now, with the freshman admission criteria, we do look at something called your A through G course sequence. This is the subjects that you see here listed on the slide. Um, this, these are, should look very familiar to you um, as you are taking these currently in high school. Now, we will consider your grade point average calculating your 10th through 12th grades through this A through G course subject. We will weight it up to eight semesters. So what that means is we will award you extra points onto your GPA for taking any honors, AP, IB, or dual enrollment courses. Um, we look at your freshman year as a transitional year. So those grades will not be calculated in the GPA, um, but we will look at those grades to make sure you received a C minus or higher to fulfill the subject. Now, all of this information is self-reported. We do not ask for your final um, official transcripts when we review your application. Um, you, it's all self-reported information. So the best recommendation I can give you is have a copy of your transcript out when you are completing the application. Now, student involvement. We have over 350 student organizations on campus. 46 fraternities and sororities on campus, and of course, our associated student government body on campus. So we really love um, having our students get involved, not only in different organizations, but in different Greek-like activities, social and academic um, fraternities and sororities, our student government body, as well as student life and recreation on campus. Fun fact, we have a bowling alley on campus. Um, in addition to that, we have four um, additional pools attached to our residential halls. Um, why not? We're in Southern California and the weather is pretty perfect here all the time. Uh, we have our Aztec mentoring program. This is where you team up with an SDSU alumni that is currently in the career field that you would like to pursue. Um, again, great way to find out if that's the career you would like to pursue, a great place to meet a mentor, and of course, great networking and internship and job opportunities as well. We do have our Mission Bay Aquatic Center. This is our aquatic center that is about 10, 15 minutes away from campus. You can not only register for classes through there, you can also um, rent different um, activities or kayaks or paddle boards at a discounted student rate. We also have our Aztec Recreation Center as well and our Aquaplex, our state-of-the-art pool. Um, this is all available to students to attend to as well. And then housing, we do require our students to live on campus for the first two years. Um, so all students graduating that out of the non-local freshman area, you will be required to live on campus for the first two years and have guaranteed housing. And then of course, sports, we are NCAA Division I for sports in the Mountain West Conference. And another great benefit about being an Aztec is you do get to attend all the home games for free. Um, this is our contact information. For our admissions team, I will go ahead and put our contact information as well in the panel. Thank you. Thank you so much for that presentation. Our final institution for this session is Illinois Wesleyan University. All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Andrew Starnes, and I am the regional admission representative for Illinois Wesleyan University. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen here. 
All right, I'm looking forward to getting a chance to talk to you a little bit more about the school. I'm actually based in East Tennessee, um, so I do have the pleasure of working with all the students from the South. Um, so just right uh, one state over. Can't wait to tell you a little bit more over the next few minutes on how Illinois Wesleyan is ranked in the top 10 um, nationally for job placement for students and why we were recently named the hidden gem of the Midwest. So starting off with Illinois Wesleyan background, we are a small liberal arts uh, uh, university, deeply rich in liberal arts. We're located in Bloomington, Illinois. That's about two and a half hours south of Chicago. We've got about 1700 undergrads. So that allows us to keep things very small, 16 students in the classroom on average. And you're never gonna see this. You're not gonna see the large stadium style um, lecture hall seating. Um, you're definitely gonna get a lot less lecture and more discussion. Uh, quality uh, time and emphasis on getting your questions answered with our faculty, great conversation with your peers, and just making sure we're maximizing the value of your education. And really that's one of the things when you're considering a small school like IWU, um, you're really gonna get a chance to take advantage of. Um, now, one thing too, we are an undergrad only campus. So we actually do not have grad students at our school. So it's all about the traditional undergrad experience, meaning that if you're wanting to get great research, over a quarter of our students are involved in uh, graduate level research with our faculty, which of course is gonna be huge if you're wanting to go on to grad school. So with IWU, we are composed into three main uh, colleges on our campus. We have our School of Nursing with almost two decades of 100% job placement. Um, we have our College of Fine Arts. So if anyone's interested in theater, music, or art, we have renowned fine arts programs. Uh, School of Theater Arts brings in tons of applications across the state of Virginia and the Southeast as well. Um, so whether it be musical theater, BFA acting, get a lot of students that apply from that program. Um, top 10 uh, nationally ranked musical theater program. We also have our School of Music, uh, which has brought in quite a few apps as well. Um, just renowned uh, opportunities across all our fine arts. And then of course, our main College of Liberal Arts contains the majority of our 80 major, major minor combinations that we do offer. Um, everything from psychology to political science, physics, pre-engineering um, and pre-med, everything that you could think of, we have either a path or a track to get you your degree or set you up to go on into grad school. Um, now at IWU, we take a lot of pride in trying to become a very diverse campus. Over a third of our students are students of color. So we wanna make sure that we're doing everything we can to be an inclusive uh, culture and campus life. Uh, we have uh, things devoted to such as our Office of Diversity Inclusion, commonly referred to as ODI, with our pre-orientation programs that are designed to help students of color uh, come in, acclimate to the campus, know they've got a voice and a place um, to really feel comfortable at our school. Um, we've got our special graduation for the LGBTQ plus community and just so many different ways, whether it be our multi-faith center, uh, just multicultural background. And then of course, uh, we have first gen students, over a third of our students in last year's class were first generation. So the point of it is no matter who you are or the background, we want IWU to be a very welcoming uh, place for all students. Um, our campus life, even though we are smaller, um, is very uh, much resembles a larger university. Um, we do have over 120 different campus organizations, uh, big and small. We have Greek life, we have sororities and fraternities on campus, we have campus events, we have massive study abroad opportunities. We're so looking forward to getting back to some normal travel again. You'll find our students all across the world and just so many different ways to connect that you're gonna find some area to belong in um, for sure, in many cases, multiple areas by the time you come in and graduate. Um, with our athletics, uh, we are Division Three in CAA. Take a lot of pride in our 24 varsity sports uh, just being very competitive. We typically um, do very well, if not win, a lot of times in our conference across all sports in the CCIW. Our men's basketball team just won the conference title a few weeks ago, so we were really, really excited for them. And we do have esports. So for students that are interested in the gaming or getting recruited, um, there are scholarship and recruitment opportunities for our esports program. Um, so one thing I always tell everybody is never be um, intimidated by a liberal arts or smaller universities uh, financial aid. Um, even though we are a private university, we take a lot of pride in trying to become very affordable for students of all backgrounds. Over 95% of our students are gonna receive some form of financial aid, um, starting with a merit scholarship. Those do go as high as 34,000 renewable each year based on GPA and your scores. Um, last year's uh, test scores and GPA averages were a 375 GPA, uh, 26 ACT, 1210 SAT. Um, so 
that's our main average. If you're at that or higher, you're going to be looking at a great scholarship opportunity. And we were test optional for their students this year. Um, so for anyone that is test optional, um, that we'd still give you the same consideration for acceptance and scholarship opportunities as well. So for what the next steps are, um, if you're a current junior right now, um, obviously rising senior will be here before you know it and the summer. So our application will go live in August. We are on the Common App. We have our own internal application. Both are free. So it's a very simple process to apply. Um, you apply and submit your information you need. We could expect to start getting you in review around November and a decision shortly after that. Um, so we do take um, all of the opportunities and try to just make them very, very simple, uh, break down the barriers for applying and getting admitted. Um, and then of course, visiting. Um, I'm the main uh, contact for the South. So if you have any questions at all, my main uh, contact information is at the top left with my email, but we are doing campus visits safely uh, for families uh, this spring and summer. So you will have the opportunity to come visit the campus if you wish, and of course, partake in a virtual event as well. Thank you so much for your time and consideration and hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much to all my fellow panelists that gave us a lot more information about their respective institutions. I'm gonna invite them all to come back just to do a quick round robin questionnaire for you guys, just to give you a little bit more insight to some of their favorite things they offer. So as you see, we will be answering the question what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? And we'll go in presentation order. So we will start with Goldsmiths University of London. Um, I think a cool thing about Goldsmiths is that we do a lot with the city of London. So we uh, put on the London International Festival of Theater in conjunction with um, a lot of the major theaters in the West End. Um, we have our own music festival called Pure Gold. Um, we have several Mercury Prize winners like James Blake, for instance, that are alumni. So. Um, you can always see the next best thing maybe at one of our um, music festivals. So um, yeah, go online and check out all of our events and things that we do on campus. So is. Yeah, I would say, you know, we're right in the heart of London. So there's always something happening um, and it can be connected to university or can be completely separate. But actually one of my favorite things on campus happens every single day. And that is that we have a Hare Krishna um, who actually gives out free food on campus and uh, absolutely everybody eats there. So the professors eat there, the students eat there, the staff from the canteen eat there because they've got no one to serve. So it's just really nice, everybody eating together, very communal kind of environment. Coastal Carolina. We have what's called Sino Day at the end of the spring semester, um, which is kind of like one giant hoorah, congratulations, you finished your semester strong. We bring out carnival rides, we do uh, fried Oreos, we do a whole bunch of fun stuff like you're at a festival. Um, just a really way for our students to unwind, relax, and prepare for the finals uh, before they have to go home for the summer. But it's just a really great time for students to relax and make uh, really a celebration of it all. They do sprayed t-shirts. Um, like I said, they bring out exotic animals. They have the roller coaster rides where you spin around really fast and feel sick. They do all that kind of great stuff. So it's just a really fun uh, day at the end of the spring semester. University College Dublin. Yeah, um, I would have to say the colors match. Um, we do have um, many competitive sports. Our biggest sports are a little bit different than the biggest sports here in the U.S., um, but the colors match um, traditionally started as a rugby game uh, between UCD and um, a friendly rivalry down the road. Um, so it's always, it's always a big game um, for students to go out to, and it has extended to other sports like um, swimming, boxing, field hockey, et cetera. So um, any the colors match and all of the sports that it incorporates is a really fun rivalry game to go to. San Diego State. Um, our, my favorite event is basketball season. Um, like I said, we are a big basketball school. We're division one for sports. And um, every week when we're playing, it is just, you know, electrifying, filling the entire Viejas Arena with Aztecs. Um, so, you know, basketball season is one of the best events or, you know, events going on during the spring semester. And Illinois Wesleyan. Yeah, for us, uh, we have an event every year called The Big Show. And basically we turn the campus into a pretty awesome uh, party for everybody to have fun games and activities, uh, team building opportunities, and then kind of cap it all off at the end with a full concert. And I mean, student union. So it tends to be um, usually the 
big event of the year. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. When you do close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey and we would appreciate any feedback you can give us. This is also one of many sessions happening over the next few hours. There are two more hours of wonderful information. So definitely go and check those out. And as I mentioned earlier, in about a week, this session's recording will be available at the same site where you registered. Again, thank you for joining us and have a good evening.